Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. The Lord bless you, my dear friend. A great pleasure indeed to meet you here this morning. We give God the praise. Uh, allow me this morning to mention something to us that I've titled True Sacrifice. I want to respond to a question. How are we supposed to relate with God in terms of sacrifice? Uh, sacrifices come in many forms and shapes. We can give our time in terms of sacrifice. We can give our giving in terms of sacrificing. And we can give our commitment in terms of sacrificing. A long time friend of mine the other day asked me to pray with him. When we parted way last, this man was a critic, a harsh critic, a man opposed to the gospel and a fault finder. He had not given his life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And so he calls me and he says that he wants me to pray with him. That is after some time and after a long period of time. And he's requesting for prayers. And he says that he has lost his job. I mean, uh, he has lost money. Money has, lo has been lost in his company under his care. And uh, that case is threatening him because he's facing a layoff. He's facing a possible jail sentence. And then he, he, he's asking for prayers. It frustrated, I, I was fascinated by, by his sentiment, by the change of heart. And I asked him, uh, have you considered giving your life to the Lord Jesus Christ? And he says, no. Uh, I went ahead and asked him, do you want to commit your life to the Lord Jesus Christ right now? He said, no. And then I was a bit skeptical. Because then he is asking for a quick fix. A, a quick fix. I told him that I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to make a very, very honest prayer. And then I went ahead and prayed, God help this man. Make things impossible for him. Difficult for him. Until he comes to a realization that all things are possible with you. My dear friend, we cannot take God for granted as a quick fixer, a man who will only fix our problems. We are also called upon to partner with God's work and God is expecting us to come to a level where we can give ourselves sacrificially. Allow me to read a story in the letter of Paul to the Philippians, chapter 2, verses 25. This is what the word of God says. I have thought it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother and my fellow worker and a fellow soldier and your messenger and a minister to my need. Now this man Epaph Epaphroditus was a spiritual son to Paul. But he had a character that stood out as a man who sacrificed for Paul. He was a lay member uh, in the church of Philippi. He was a messenger. He took material offering and material of, uh, giving to Paul. He was brave. When people had forsaken Paul, he was able to stand by the man who was considered to a capital crime offender. Paul at that time was, was, had been placed in a, in a, in a confine in, in, in Rome. He had been confined, in, he, was, he had been placed in a house arrest. And this man, Epaphroditus, was able to stand by the side of Paul when everybody else didn't. He was dedicated. He was dedicated to his work. He could travel long distance, sacrificing to go and be with Paul. And in, during that time, he became sick. He became sick to a level of death, to a point where he was dying. And God came through for him. God came through for him and healed him. I believe that was because this man had shown commitment, dedication. He had sacrificed for the work of God. And God was able to heal him because of his level of sacrifice. 
my dear friend Paul made a remark about this man and he said this man is my fellow brother in other words he stood with Paul in time of need this man is my fellow co-worker in other words the things that Paul could do this man could do Paul refers to him as my fellow soldier in other words this man was Paul's you know a brother's keeper he stood by the side of Paul though a layman this man possessed qualities that apostle Paul had a prominent figure in the early church my dear friend i want to make this parting shot that when we do little things to others we do big things to the lord jesus christ when we do little things to other people uh, to other people we do big things to the lord jesus christ and therefore as you're going out i want you to go out but think in your in, in your mind how are you going to partner how are you going to sacrifice how are you going to stand by the work of god so that it's not just about us praying to god to give us but we can also determine that we're going to change how things appear and this time around we are going to give to the work of god i want to pray with you even as you are bringing this to a close father in the name of our uh, our lord jesus Christ, i give you praise for an opportunity to share this thought that we can partner with your work that we can give true sacrifice we can partner with you in terms of commitment we can partner with you in terms of giving giving our sacrifices we can partner with you in terms of standing by the side of your work by your people by the people that you have sent and therefore lord i want to pray that this grace will be uh, seen in the life of my brother my sister that they will they will also appreciate this grace and stand by your work we give you praise glory and honor in jesus name the lord bless you my dear friend it was nice having you here until we meet again stay blessed my name is philip odera That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.